Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to check out this 1S battery charger. It's called the Ultra Power Up S6AC 1S charger. Now this is a really nice little charger because it could charge up to six batteries at a time. And for each port, you have different types of connections. You have the micro, you have the MX, and you have the MCPX, which is the MCPX is what we're using for those little high volt micro batteries here. And we also have a JST connector. The JST connector is that red connector that you can find on, you know, some 3S uh, LiPos and stuff. But this only charges 1S LiPo, so keep that in mind. Now, the maximum charging current is 1 amp for each one. So you could charge 1 amp, 1 amp, 1 amp, and it just does that for all six. And the type of input power you need to provide for this, which is something really nice and I like to see here is it takes both AC and it takes DC so you can directly power this off from your AC adapter or there's no adapter needed it just takes direct AC voltage which is really nice and here it takes up to the DC takes up to 2 to a 4s lipo or you can even connect it to your battery's car which is something I usually do I just make a connector here with some alligator clips and I charge in field so this is a really nice in field charger and also a house charger here all right so in order to start charging before you start charging what you have to do is you have to choose the correct profile for each port whether it's going to be a lipo or a high volt battery so the first thing you want to do is you want to press select it only has two buttons and it's just uh, very intuitive to actually figure this out you press this you choose the current now the current you choose will be applied to every single port so if you're charging at one amp this will charge one amp one amp one amp one amp all of them you cannot choose you cannot specify charging current for each single channel so that's something you need to take note of here uh, also once we click it we have to go to the next page here and then here you specify the profile so for example I'm gonna put a lipo here I'm gonna put a lipo here I'm gonna put an HV uh, lipo in here so I'm gonna go ahead and start sticking those in and uh, what I also found out is if, for example, this was uh, charging HV and while it's charging, you cannot go in and change the profile once it starts charging. So you have to choose the profile before you start charging. So right now we have LiPo, LiPo, and they both started to charge. And let's just take a look at the menu here. As you can tell, it's charging at 1 amp, 1 amp. And this is charged so far 3 milliamps or 4 milliamps. And then that's charging at 1 milliamp currently. And uh, let's go ahead and plug in our HV battery. We should already have the correct profile set up. There we go. So that's HV. And as you can tell, HV lipos blink a lot faster while they're charging. And normal lipos blink very slowly. And I'm guessing these two are possibly, I don't know why they're green, but maybe it indicates that this is an HV port. So let's just double check that real quick. Yeah. So if it's blinking green and turning off when it's not charging, that means these are uh, HV ports. So that's something really nice. That's some really nice, useful feature. So now I know if I wanted to charge... Uh, the HVs, I have to plug them in right here. So I'm going to grab another HV battery here. And here we go. And this one, since it's off, obviously it means it's going to be a LiPo now. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in a LiPo. And I'm just going to plug it right in and uh, just have it charge. Actually, I want to charge my little micro LiPos. See, as you can tell, yeah, that's correct. So that's LiPo now. These two are HVs and these are like normal LiPos here. So as you can tell, you just get all the readings you want and it just uh, goes through them. So what happens if we just click this by itself? So if you press the settings button, it won't do anything. You have to start by choosing the select. I'm curious to see if we could change the amps to f to 600 milliamps. So yeah, once you choose, you know, whatever you chose in the beginning of booting this, then that will be the predefined setting uh, throughout the whole uh, charging process until you reboot it and you redo the settings so you cannot change the settings while you're uh, Charging whatever you have set predefined. That's it You're gonna have to stick to until unless you want to reboot the charger itself here and uh, here we had another HV input So let's just drop in another HV input here So there we go. Yep HV so as again as you can tell faster blinking LEDs means HV slower blinking LEDs mean lipo so as you can tell it's actually very simple to use and you see the current starting to drop once it starts to fill up the battery once it knows the battery is starting to fill up it'll do the trickle charging which means it'll drop the current and then just allow it to go slowly in there it'll shut the current off and turn it back on just to make sure the voltage is exactly at a full charge so right now we're having this one's almost finished 4.35 that's why we see the amperage start to drop here these are still empty so they're charging at one amp each and uh, they're not getting hot and nothing is getting hot so that's really nice and I don't recommend you charge at one amp like I'm doing here especially with these you can just do like 2c maximum so if it's 250 milliamps you can do you can get away with using 500 milliamps but I'm charging currently this at 4c it's not getting warm 
so that's kind of good but you know at the end of the day it's it's your it's your decision here but uh try to just charge at 2c maximum with these little uh batteries but overall it's a nice little charger very easy to use and um make an update video later on i'm going to be using this quite a lot now anyway so uh we'll know how well it's performing if anything happens to it and if it's just working great and well that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh i'll have a link to it down below go ahead and check it out and i'll see you in the next one peace out